Hi guys, my name is Daniel, and what you're about to watch in this video is a brief demo of Logs.io, an enterprise-grade log analytics cloud service that's built on top of the open source ELK stack. In about five minutes, I promise, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the product and a demo of the main features we offer. So let's get started. Before we dive into the logs themselves and what can be done with them using Logs.io, let's first focus on shipping. Or in other words, how the log files find themselves in the Kibana tab you're now looking at to start with. Logs.io supports many ways of shipping logs, from AWS and Docker integration to native methods such as Java, Ruby, and Node.js. We also support generic shippers such as Filebeat, Arsyslog, or Logstash. It's extremely simple to set up shipping to Logs.io, and we're also, of course, happy to help out if needed. Once a pipeline is established, your logs will begin to show up in Logs.io. Kibana, the K in the ELK stack, is seamlessly integrated into Logs.io user interface. And like in all log analytics platforms, the main view here is used for viewing all the events being shipped into the system. Let's dive deeper into the rabbit hole and take a closer look at what you can do with these logs in Logs.io. So say your customers are reporting response timeouts. We've got almost 70,000 log entries here. So first step would be to filter the logs by response. I can see a clear spike around 12.30. So I'm gonna click this bucket to get a closer look. We see a long list of logs coming into Logs.io and we can now add some fields to the log list to get more clarity. Selecting one of the logs from the list, we're now going to try and get a wider perspective by first clicking this plus minus 10 seconds button. And then removing the search filter. What this gives us basically is an aggregated view of events coming in from our entire system and taking place 10 seconds before and after our 504 event. What we can now see is that each time a 504 was logged, a transaction error preceded it, meaning that our backend timed out. We've troubleshooted the issue, but it's time to get a bit more proactive. We're going to add an alert for logs with the failed transaction message. To do this, I'm going to add the return message value as a filter. Changing the time frame to get a wider perspective. We can see that we usually get a maximum of three failed transaction messages in a period of 30 minutes. But at the time of our big event, we can see a huge spike. So what I'm gonna do now is set up an alert. Clicking this create alert button opens the alert configuration dialog. We can see that the filter we used is already loaded in the query field. I'm going to first set the severity level for the alert, give it a name, and enter a short description. Next, we're going to set the threshold for triggering an alert. We're going to configure Logs.io to send us a notification when more than five events occur within a five minute time frame. And last but not least, we can configure how we want the notification delivered. You can send an email or use a webhook for receiving notifications via a messaging app, such as HipChat or Slack, for example. That's it. The next time similar circumstances transpire, you'll know about it on time. Kibana allows you to create graphic visualizations that represent your queries in a nice and easy to monitor way. For example, say you'd like to see a pie chart depicting from what country requests are being sent to your Apache web server. In this case, I'm going to create the visualization from a saved query. We're then going to configure the way 
the data is sliced and aggregated in the graph. And once you're done, save the visualization. And then you can load it in your dashboard. Logs.io also gives you access to pre-made visualizations in the ELK Apps tab. Here you'll find a series of free, customized and tailored visualizations, searches and dashboards that can be easily installed. Simply search for a specific log type and then click install. Opening the ELK app you installed, in this case an entire Apache Access dashboard loads it in Kibana. That's it for now folks. I kind of broke my promise about keeping it at five minutes, but I hope you enjoyed the demo. There'll be other videos coming soon about Logs.io features, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.